This is Conspiracies Unpacked. My name is Danny Clayton and we're about to look at the mysterious death of Australian Prime Minister Harold Holt. The short and skinny is this. In December 1967, Harold went swimming off the coast of Victoria at Cheviot Beach, but he never returned. Conspiracies suggest that he was kidnapped, but it was botched, he was assassinated, or that he was a Chinese spy. He swam off the coast and he was picked up by a submarine and lived the rest of his life in Beijing. Dr. Richard Hames, let's get into it. Submarines swimming off the coast of Australia, is any of this possible? Uh, submarines, very unlikely indeed. They couldn't operate in those waters at the time. I don't think they could operate in those waters today, actually, it's pretty choppy. Um, but also the, the, um, the killer of that one for me is the fact that both Harold and his wife Zara, I believe her name was, disliked Chinese food intensely. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't choose to go to a country voluntarily if you hated the food. Now, I believe there was even a British author who was mocked mercilessly because he wrote a book suggesting that Harold Holt was a Chinese spy. Was there any weight in those accusations? Would there be anything to believe that our Prime Minister was in fact talking with Chinese intelligence? I don't think there's anything there at all. Those conspiracy theories arose because it was the height of the Cold War and obviously enmities uh, between different countries were rife. Uh, Russia wasn't the only uh, country being involved in terms of uh, spiteful and suspicious uh, activities. Now, the search did go on to find his body and it failed. Surely he should have been found. Were there any leads or links or stories about his body? Uh, no, you're right. The body was never found. Uh, but there was an Indian mystic, a guy called Dadi Balsara, who wrote a letter to the government uh, soon after uh, Holt went missing, suggesting that he knew precisely where to find the body buried in sand. And uh, for some reason or other, the government did take notice, although I don't think it was followed through and the body is, as you say correctly, was never found. So there were some other conspiracies saying that he was kidnapped and that it was botched and he died. A whole load of conspiracies, yeah. uh, including one Australian, and I, ca I can't remember his name, but suggested at the time that he himself had been asked to take the dead body the day before he officially disappeared and uh, bury it and caused a lot of conspiracy theories at the time. So there was a little bit of political tension about Australia exploring the possibility of creating nuclear weapons at the time. Uh, could this not have created powerful enemies of Harold Holt? It could easily, uh, and you have to look at the US. He was very on good, good and friendly terms with Lyndon B. Johnson, the US president. But you can never account for the activities of the CIA, nor can the presidents of the United States account for everything the CIA does. And so you can never be sure. There can always be a doubt in that context. Now, very important question. Do you think Australia is incredibly insensitive to name a swimming pool after the Prime Minister that drowned? <laughs> I think Australians generally, with the larrikin spirit, are insensitive to a lot of things, but I don't think that makes a whole lot of difference. <laughs> I mean, one of the reasons why this pool was named after Harold Holt is because he was renowned as a very powerful swimmer and a very keen spear fisherman. Does that not throw any shade or any doubt on the fact that he drowned because he was such a good swimmer? No, I don't think it does. I think this is just the Australian sense of humour coming out, if anything at all. Okay, so uh, if we do take uh, that final question and that final examination of this conspiracy, is it plausible that Harold Holt swam off the coast of Australia, was picked up by a Chinese submarine and was in fact a spy? No submarine, no spy, not plausible. Okay, this is Conspiracies Unpacked. Is Harold Holt a Chinese spy? Did he survive? Did he get away to Beijing? Not plausible.